all the teachers that are there. Um, we have one social worker two days a week. We have a nurse who comes in for five hours once a week. I'm not supposed to do anything more than teach. I'm told to make a personal connection, but I go outside the bounds legally of my job every day because as a human being, that is what I feel is appropriate and I can't live with myself otherwise. And so does everyone else that I work with. You can't sustain 1,600 children with five hours of social work in a 95% high poverty school. I've had three students this year that lost their mother. I've had, you know, I don't want to be a big sob story, but it's not about, we've got one-to-one -one connections, but there's nothing past that. There's only so many beds. There's only so much money to feed so many children. My school opens at six in the morning and there are people in the building till nine o'clock. We won't make up any reason for them to be able to stay with us, but when it's time to go to bed, there's nowhere to go. Or maybe where I have to send you home to bed, I know is going to be horrifying for you. There's nothing I can do. And so there's, there's not a one thing. This is a huge, huge societal issue. And I think the largeness of it horrifies people. And it is easier to act like it's just, it's going to be OK. If the test scores go up, it will be OK. We're teaching them. Now they can go to college. They're not going to make it in college. We can barely get through two hours in the morning. And I can deal with that, and a lot of my coworkers can. But there has to be a much bigger, a much bigger addressing of the problem.